were not we were just well, up we were all just night. on the edge of our seats, like, what, what's going to happen? Just losing. <laughs> Is this real? Losing this it. Not- Why did you choose this graphic novel for your directorial debut? It's a graphic novel that I've been obsessed with since it came out back in 2007 because it felt like my life and the life of my friends. It's really about these Asian American characters just kind of hanging out. It just felt so authentic to me in that way. I was like, yes, for sure, I gotta tell this story. Adrian's work I've been familiar with because I'm I'm an avid reader of The New Yorker and I'd seen many of his covers, picked up the novel, and finished it in a couple of hours. It was just such a slice of life of these three characters who happen to be Asian American and sort of the ups and downs that they go through. So tell me about this phone call you get from Randall. How long did it take for you to say yes? Oh my, Allie and I are We went on a journey. Okay, we are actually sisters. So we just kept texting each other, like, yeah. have you heard? Yeah, What's, yeah, going yeah. What's going Randall's on? Process. Randall's process. Randall's process. We both heard that <laughs> we, we were probably the choices, but it wasn't official. And they were like, yes. Randall's got to go through his process. We didn't process. sleep for two yeah. weeks. Uh, we kept sending each other pictures <laughs> of edible, of, uh, arrangement. <laughs> edible <laughs> arrangements and a teddy bear that said, get well soon. Because we were not we well. Because we were up just on the edge of our seats, like, what, what's gonna happen? Just losing. <laughs> is this real? Losing this it. Not? We were just so excited because we've been. We such wanted good to both friends. get it. Yeah. To Together. share the screen. That's just a whole nother magical thing about this film is how often do we get to work with our friends who share the same identities, you know, um, yet in different ways. So it's just so cool to, you know, have this moment like doing press with Here Ali. We are. What? <laughs> what's the best piece of direction Randall gave you on set? It's crazy because I feel like after the first week, we sort of had this mind meld. Yes. And um, (laughs) it was insane because I would have a couple of thoughts on like a few of the lines and I would be prepared to come to Randall and talk to him about it. And he would come up to me and he's like, I have a couple of thoughts on these lines. And it were the same exact thoughts on the same exact lines. I'd go up to uh, Justin and before I even say anything, he's like, no, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd walk away. Does he know? Oh my God, he knows <laughs> exactly what I was gonna say. You know, it's just like we, we were very insane. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Randall's described the movie as, you know, eating various sandwiches in various diners. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I wanna know, what is your go-to sandwich? We love this question. We love this question. I just love sandwiches. Spicy Italian. I love Italian yeah. meats. I will literally eat prosciutto every day, salami every day, uh, if there were no risks. Are you a banana pepper girl? Banana pepper or pepperoncini? I mean, either. Any of the pepper family. I'm a big pepper fan. I'm like a pickle, pepper, pickle anything pepper. pickled, pickled daikon, pick kimchi, mm. like all of it. Oh. I think I could just have a pickle sandwich. Fermentation <laughs> is really the name of the game. I love a good lobster roll. Connecticut or Maine lobster roll? I'm not that deep into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a meatball guy, meatball sub guy. Yeah. Um, and I would say my favorite place to get it from is John and Vinny's in LA. Oh, yeah. So good. It's not actually a sub, it's more of an open faced opportunity um, there. (laughs) It's more meatballs with a side of bread, but I'll take it. I I consider that a sandwich. What Asian actors inspired you to become an actor? Oh my gosh, so many. Michelle Yeoh. Lucy Liu, of course. Oh, Lucy Liu. Of course. Uh, Just all of the icons, Jet Li, Jackie Chan as well, you know, they were doing their thing. And because there was so few, we latched on and really it, it meant the world to see that on the screen. Margaret Cho is a, is a big one, obsessed. Uh, to this day. Margaret Cho, I'm a stand-up comic, so Margaret, you know, was just the first to blow us all away. She's hilarious. And also skincare routine, drop it, sis. She looks so good. You heard it here first. I know her, we know her actually, yeah. Give us the skincare secret. Text me back. (laughs) 